Hi everyone, Phil from Tech for Techs here. Today we're looking at this from Lexar. It's 2666 MHz DDR4 SO DIMMs, which is laptop RAM. Uh, Lexar are previously known for doing stuff like SD cards, flash pens, card readers and stuff like that. Recently they've brought out uh, SSDs as well uh, and now they're bringing out PC and laptop RAM. Okay, today we're looking at this Lexar laptop memory. Uh, we've got two 8GB sticks, they also sell it in 4GB, 8GB, 16 and 32 Obviously that may differ depending on the country you're in and availability. Uh, pricing, well in all honesty pricing and memory fluctuates that as much, I'm not even going to mention it, but it's going to be competitive with the rest of the memory out there. And again it's from a decent manufacturer like Lexar which normally deals with uh, SD cards, uh, flash uh, memory and other types of memory products so this is one of their first actual DDR4 or RAM based uh, products uh, so let's have a quick look at the box so it says Lexar's DDR4 2666 megahertz so it's not a bad speed you can see the memory and the specification for the little window there the back gives you a bit more information, so it gives you the speed again, 260 pin SO DIM. Obviously, SO DIM means that's for laptops. Uh, some ITX boards may also take um, SO DIMs as well and other unique things, but if mo most uh, desktops will take a normal DIM, not the SO DIM. Um, otherwise, on there it says it's 1.2 volts, which is pretty standard. Operating temperature between 0 and 85 degrees Celsius and it's the size is 69.6 millimeters by 30 and it's as it says there for laptop but again as I says you can use it in some ITX boards and for small form factor boards and things like that uh, as well. Uh, it doesn't mention on there what the CAS rating is or the CAS latency, but that is actually 19. So let's open it up and have a look exactly what we've got. Okay, so this is what's in the box. You've got a quick installation guide, which tells you things like don't touch the metal bits and blah, 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 blah. Obviously, follow the instructions there. Not Don't do what I do. Do what it says on the instructions. Obviously, I'm demonstrating these, so I'm going to be touching it in places where you shouldn't. Um, but it tells you in there how to not handle it. It tells you how to install a normal DIM, but these are SO DIMs which you follow the instructions here, not there. That's for a standard desktop. Um, but basics is they usually go in two little clips and push down and inside, and it's pretty straightforward in all honesty. Usually the most difficult bit is getting the bottom of the laptop off because some laptops you have to remove the whole bottom uh, and the other ones it's just a little door is probably the best way of doing it, a little manor hole. Um, but there you go, so you've got the quick installation guide, you've got the memory, so you've got the memory, you can see the chips on the front just underneath the little sticker there, uh, you've got all your, obviously your pins at the bottom uh, and on the other side it's basically the same without the sticker so you've got all your memory uh, there. So it gives you a rough idea, so here's a close up of it, so there you go, so you can see there um, a bit more information, there's not much information on there. The chips on this look like they're Samsung, according to um, Lexart they will be using Samsung uh, or Micron um, or any other major manufacturer, so basically all the main decent stuff rather than some of the cheap unknown brands out there so that's good to know uh, warranty on this is a lifetime warranty so that's good as well obviously you'll need to check some countries it may be different it may be different where you buy it from uh, but that's usually through either where you get it from or direct through the manufacturer obviously if you buy it from a distribution that'll be through your distributor Okay, so this is my personal laptop, or I say personal, this is my business laptop, what I actually take about with me, but use personally now and again, but not too much. It's mainly used for testing and stuff like that. Um, I've already taken the screws out, I'm going to take the bottom of the laptop off. Uh, if you've not seen the bottom or the inside of the laptop before, this is roughly what it looks like. Different models look slightly different. This is your hard drive or solid state drive. Um, this is a solid state drive as well. This is the main cooler in there, 
and the processor and slash graphics card which is in this one is under this what's called a heat pipe which draws the heat out of here and then blows the heat out of the back. Um, that's your wireless card uh, and this is the battery. First thing I'm going to do before I add memory to this is disconnect the battery. If you've got a battery what you can remove from your laptop out of the back or the bottom do so first. I always recommend you do before you work on it. If you're not sure what you're doing, you're not sure how to do it, you're wary, always take it to your local independent store. And I recommend your local independent store over the national chains because the national chains, in all honesty, mostly rip you off. Um, but your local independents have usually got more knowledge and they're not just a student who's working part time. I've already got memory in here, which is already an 8 gig stick, but I'm going to be replacing it with Alexar memory. Uh, to do this, you pull these two clips either side and it pops up. Pull out. Simple as that. And the reason I'm taking that one out is because it's a different brand and different speeds and so forth. Generally when you want in memory inside a machine, especially if you're using dual channel or more, uh, you want to use exactly the same type of memory and specification. So there's no ifs and buts and compatibility issues or anything like that. So I've got both sticks of memory. If you look, there's a little cutout there, and there's a little um, notch on the actual memory slot there. So let me zoom in so you can probably see that a little bit better. There you go. So that just basically pushes in, and then pushes down. It's as simple as that. And you should have a little notch there which those bits clip into. If it's still sticking up, you've done it wrong. Um, then you get your other stick, which will be going in reverse in most cases and you push it in and again push down and it's as simple as that. In some cases depending on the laptop the two slots might be on top of each other. In some laptops there may only be one slot uh, and, and even in some laptops this bit is soldered in so it won't give you any chance of adding all any memory into the machine at all. So just double check with your manufacturer of your PC or should I say laptop if you can add more memory. We're going to do some tests in a few minutes, but there you go, you can see basically what the bottom of a laptop looks like, and as you can see, the rest of it there. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to actually stress test this memory, see how reliable it is. So what I'm going to do is boot the actual machine into a program called Eurosoft PC Check, UEFI. Um, it's a program, um, what you tend to find that technicians and stuff like that use for stress testing machines, as well as doing like individual tests for memory, CPUs and so forth. It's a, sort of a premium product, you won't get it for free online. Um, but we're going to boot into it, I've got it on a special USB pen and I'm just going to restart the machine into uh, the advanced options by holding the shift down when we restart it. After a few seconds that should hopefully boot into that mode and then allow us to boot off of that memory stick. Here we go, it's turning off and then it should come on, here we go. So we're going to use a device and as you can see, Eurosoft program device. So we're going to use that one. And it will reboot the machine and then start off the memory stick. And you'll see the memory stick flashing uh, mad in a minute when it starts booting off of that. So it's um, testing it outside of Windows. So that means Windows isn't going to interfere in any way uh, or form. So it'll take a few seconds and the program will start booting up and here we go. As you can see, as it says, PC check, UEFI uh, and so forth. What I'm going to do is do advanced scripting and when that loads up, I'm going to make a memory script. So let's go on to system, memory, select the tests we want to do. So I'm going to select all the tests from quick to seating to random data addresses uh, stride block rotation and so forth and test parameters I'm going to put duration on for 48 hours okay so that's going to basically keep running tests on this for non-stop for 48 hours just on the memory and nothing else 
I do apologise if you hear lots of birds at the moment while I'm doing this. It's mainly because we've got some nested just right outside the window of the testing room, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, but hey, not much you can do about it. And uh, hey, I'm all for nature and everything. So once we've set up the script, we just press OK and then run script. And how many times? Once, because we've set it for 48 hours and that is now going to run that script for the next 48 hours and you can see there exactly what it's doing you can see memory it's checking the seat in first and it's running and then it'll go through and do that test and then it'll move on to the next one and so forth and it'll keep doing this non-stop for 48 hours and it'll tell us down the bottom how many of it's passed and how many have failed ideally we want zero fails otherwise uh, I won't be recommending it uh, but if we get uh, just passes then yeah I will be recommending it so there we go so we'll uh, chip back in 48 hours and see how it's done okay so in basics the testing is completely done so it's gone for 48 hours um, it's gone through all the tests and it's passed 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 them all without any fails on there so that is pretty good if you ask me so that shows that it's very reliable the laptop's been running for 48 hours running memory checks non-stop and it hasn't failed any of the tests so if you ask me that is a job well done and the product well you can't ask any more for it that's it's done exactly what it's supposed to do it's reliable uh, and with anything like memory and stuff like that you do have lots of different choices of sizes which is good uh, we won't be able to clock in this memory with being laptop memory most laptops just don't allow it uh, but in basics it does what it's supposed to do and as you can see there it started up and uh, did all the tests no problem and the machine itself boots up as you can see in no time at all and again it's not bad considering it's actually roughly about a two and a half year old laptop now so our custom built one what we did ourselves uh, and it's now running on 16 gig instead of 8 gig and there's your welcome screen and away you go so that's uh, basically a laptop that gets used every day uh, for the last two and a half years and it hasn't had a reinstall of windows or anything like that so yeah it takes a few seconds to come on but in all reality it's hell of a lot faster than most laptops out there unfortunately this welcome screen can hang sometimes on a lot of machines <laughs>